the tire machine set up. Um, we got some new Shinkos to go on the bagger, so we're gonna get those changed out today. So the factory Dunlop tires aren't too shabby, um, but they can sometimes be a little harder. Uh, the new Shinkos, uh, especially these ones that are designed for these touring bikes, have a hard center on them, but they still offer a lot of grip on the sidewall while you're leaning. So I think that's their whole new thing that we're gonna be trying out with these tires. Um, good product, it worked really good on all the diamonds and stuff, so see how they do on this thing. One thing to be careful of with this bike and most of the touring bikes in particular is that TPMS system, so when you're breaking the bead, make sure that you're not hitting it in anywhere by that valve stem so you don't incur any damage on anything. Um, so I run the Shinkos on my race bike, uh, and they do really well. Um, like I switch between the soft and the medium compound. They stick, they seem to be lasting pretty good. Um, and yeah, as far as like traction wise, I have no complaints on them. Got the rear tire on, now we're gonna move to the front. Changing the tire on this one adds a little bit more stress to your life. Since it's got all the real fancy bells and whistles on her. But mechanically it's pretty much the same. Headed over to Milestone right now in the race smart car. It's the first time I took it on the freeway and this thing's sketchier and fuck. We're going 70 and it feels like we're going 9,000 through the whoops. Uh, 
Definitely going to take it on the flat track. Definitely going to take it on the beginner track. See if we can catch some air. Maybe tip it over. Hopefully make it back in one piece. So sketchy. I feel like I'm going to be able to clear a couple jumps really good. And then I'm probably going to flat bottom some. And it's probably going to drive like shit. But, you know, that's fun too, I guess. Harleys aren't really meant to be jumped in, in the dirt. And those are fun, so I feel like this is going to be the same thing. like the beginner 50 track I can actually clear some shit fucking sent it goddamn thing is not built for jumping that's for damn sure or drifting or going fast it's just for looks for sure it's <laughs> definitely definitely learned that stock suspension's probably not the best for jumping a smart car the first jump i cased the fuck out of and everything went flying and i went flying and it was bad i thought i broke everything but i didn't so Obviously, in typical Rusty Butcher manner, I kept jumping. Um, I actually cleared a couple jumps. Had like a three mile straightaway to get enough speed to clear two feet. But uh, we did it. I did a double double and, um, you know, did some drifting. It's definitely not for flat track. Uh, definitely needs to be faster. Still looks cool. Just got, it's like a little bit more rickety now, but, you know, so am I. So, enjoy. <laughs> That's it for this week's episode. I'm tired. No more smart car braking. And uh, maybe we'll break it in two pieces the next week, so you have to stay tuned. Enjoy, subscribe, share it, and we'll see you next week. <laughs>